Now we've spent some time talking about what a differential equation is, as well as what it means to be a solution to a differential equation. But we've also seen that in general, it's not easy to come up with a solution of a differential equation. What we'll look at in this video is a technique known as separation of variables, which can be used to evaluate certain types of differential equations. And in particular, we can use it on what are known as separable differential equations. So let's first define that quality. So we're going to say that a differential equation is separable if it can be written in the form dy dx equals g of x times f of y. So I want to point out the connection to the types of differential equations we talked about our first order differential equations before. This is still first order. But uh, what we wrote in a previous video is that we were looking at differential equations that could be expressed in this form. So notice the difference here. This, this is a uh, more particular definition. So it's still true that in our separable differential equation down here, that the dy dx is, we're seeing um, possibly a function of both x and y. However, the difference is this is saying that we can write this differential as a product of a function of x, the independent variable, and a function of y, the dependent variable. So that's going to be the key feature that allows us to say that it is a separable differential equation. So let's consider an example where we're going to look at several differential equations, and we have to decide um, if we have a separable differential equation. So is the differential equation separable. So for the first example, suppose we have dy dx is equal to 3x squared times y. Notice that right away I can see a product of a function of x and a function of y. One thing that we'll see here is that there's more than one way to break this up into a product of a function of x and a function of y. In particular, that 3 multiplier could either stay with the x squared or you could take it with y. So we'll have a choice and it won't matter when we're talking about constant multiples. But for now, I can certainly say that this is definitely a separable differential equation. If I look at dy dx equals, or no, dy dx, let's say, plus x over y equals 0. In this case, uh, it's not written right away in like the standard form that we're looking for. So in order to see if it's separable, I'm really looking to see if dy dx can be expressed as a product of a function of x and a function of y. So I can move x over y over to the right hand side. And in particular, of course, this looks like a quotient, but we can also think of this as say negative x times 1 over y, or we could have had positive x times negative 1 over y. But importantly, again, this is a product of a function of x and a function of y. So we get that this is yet again an example of a separable differential equation. So what if we instead had dy dx equals x plus y? So of course, it can be tempting to think that the x and the y are separated, but they're separated by addition and not multiplication. So this is actually not separable. There's no way that you could come up with a suitable g of x and f of y so that you could express that right-hand side as g of x times f of y. If we look at the dy dx equals e to the x plus y, we might be tempted to say here that this isn't separable because of the overlap with the example right above. However, with our properties involving exponential functions, I can rewrite this as e to the x times e to the y. 
And again, now I clearly have a product of a function of x and a function of y. So it turns out that this is separable. And sometimes we might need to rewrite the original um, expression to, in order to see what the two functions are that are being multiplied together. If I instead had dy dx equals natural log of x, y, here I have a product of x and y, but it's inside of the natural log. So it turns out that I don't have a way of breaking that up into two separate functions, one a function of x and one a function of y. So we have to be careful that yes, there is a product involved there, but there's no way of me identifying a g of x and then f of y so that I could rewrite that expression. And finally, if I have dy dx equals x, this can be a little confusing because we keep talking about a product of a function of x and a function of y as being the kind of hallmark of a separable differential equation. However, what you can think about here is what if we let g of x be defined to be the function x and f of y could be the function, the constant function one. So I'm interpreting now this x as a product of itself with one. And now we see that it is possible to interpret that as a product of a function of x and a fun function of y. It's just that the function of y happens to be constant. So what we observe from this, I'll generalize if um, dy dx is um, a function of only x or of only y, then it is separable. So that's always going to be separable. And consequently, we'll see we can always apply uh, the technique of separation of variables in order to solve such a differential equation.